I didn't think this through very well. Today I am embarking on a journey to get a drum set. Not just a drum set, but my drum set. Not my Tama, not my $20 kit, and not my Yamaha, but my Groove Percussion. So now that I'm basically done with the $20 drum set, I have the, you know, the time and the space to work on another drum set, and this is gonna be different than the $20 drum set series, which I'll talk about that in a little bit. But like I said, it is a Groove Percussion kit. Uh, it's the first kit I owned. I didn't own it, my mom bought it for me in like middle school. I played on it for like two or three years, and then after that, I bought a real drum set, which was my Yamaha kit. And funny story about that, I was about to buy a road bike because all my friends were, you know, biking, and I felt left out, so I decided I was gonna buy one. So I was about to buy it, but then I realized I'm, I'm never gonna, gonna use this thing, so I bought the drum set instead. But yeah, I'm going to get the kit. It's been sitting in the basement for like, I don't know, eight, nine, ten years, so I got like an hour to drive, so I'll check back in when I get there. Yeah. So let me give you a little uh, drum set tour. So over here we got the broken snare stand, pretty stock. And then we got the 20 inch ZBT ride. A lovely 13 inch tom. Mmm. No 12 inch because that's the one I turn into a snare. Beautiful 16 inch floor tom. I'm sure this one sounds just as good as the 13. Oh yeah. And most importantly, a trash can, which is where these belong. And of course, a kick drum. I'd also like to thank all my sponsors. Apple, Vans, AAA Insurance, Element, and of course, Zildjian. I also thought my hi-hat stand was here, so here it is, chilling by some paint. This hardware is so light, I might need to switch to these stands. So, uh, Groove Percussion, if you're trying to sponsor me. Enough of that crap, I'm leaving. Tell I can't play piano. All right, so I made it home. So now let me explain the plan for these drums. So first is the kick drum. It is a 22 by 16. It might be 18, but I think it's 16. But I plan to cut it down and make it shallow, so it'll be like a 22 by 10 inch kick. So I can have a little pancake kick. Or another option would be to use it in front of my my actual kick drum as a little bass drum woofer. And second is the floor tom. It is a 16 by 16. It's only a six lug drum. I really wish it was an eight lug because I'm gonna turn this into a snare. Uh, so I'm gonna cut it in half so it'll be like a 16 by eight. And I could make two snares out of that, so I'll probably do that. But also in this shot, you can see the actual like finish of the drum. You can barely see the blue, so it's like a midnight blue, black fade something or another. But uh, yeah. And then the 13 inch tom. I'm not too sure what I want to do with it. Uh, I could turn it into a snare, but I want to try to do something different with it. So if you have any ideas, definitely let me know. And then another thing about this project is I want to experiment with the finishes. So if you have any ideas about the finishes or like a color scheme, whether it be like a burst or a fade or, you know, 
flake or stripes or whatever it may be I'd love to hear them because with these drums if I screw up I don't really care so again if you have any ideas I'd love to hear them and then last is the ZBT ride this might be going to someone and they might be modifying it it is not who you think it is and they're not doing what you think they're going to do but as soon as that does happen I'll let you guys know about it because it'll be really interesting so yeah, that was just a little vlog video, I guess you could say, uh, so be on the lookout for those videos. I'm gonna hop on them as soon as I can, so thanks for watching.